Well, as we get back to some sort of normal, people are getting out a whole lot more, and a lot of folks are ah, enjoying this cool, refreshing water of the Canal River. We're going to take you on a little tubing trip and let you know everything you need to know. Got my SA Live sunglasses. Hey, Fiona, got some for you. Thanks for the sunglasses, Mike. But you know what? I won't need them here. I'm at a spot you probably remember going to back in high school. And you know what? It's back in a big way. I'm at the Stars and Stripes Drive-In in New Braunfels. And Jen, guess what? I got some popcorn for you. Thank you, Fiona. I love me some popcorn. Well, I'm going to show you guys where you can go on a trip on a tank full with the entire family. Kid friendly, yes, but you can still enjoy a nice glass of wine. I'm going to take you there in SA Live's Prime Show. Here you go, David. Thanks for the red wine, Jen. It's going to pair well with the delicious barbecue that I have right here. And you guys, I'm going to be taking you around San Antonio to check out some barbecue spots that you won't want to miss. So get ready. You're watching the SA Live Summer Fun Special right here on KSAT 12. Fun in the sun, at the movies, on the river, or in your living room. You're watching SA Live Summer Fun Special in primetime. Brought to you by the City of San Antonio. So you wanna hit the great outdoors, maybe do a little bit of camping. Great idea, but you gotta make a reservation in a lot of the parks. They are open, however, there's limits on the number of people. Are you out of luck? No. How about camping in your own backyard? And what's really nice is when the campsite and the tent and everything else is all set up for you. Thank you, Jordan Lauderstein from you, Good Mike. Sports here. Okay, and you saved the good chair for me too? Uh, yeah, that's the Stargazer chair from Nemo. Super comfy. And it reclines. Oh yeah. Oh, it does, uh, you just, okay. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you this what, this is one of those times when, can you just interview yourself and I'm sure, just gonna take a little nap so here. Sure, absolutely, so what we so. got here is a backyard <laughs> camping scene. <laughs> what kind of products do we have here? All right, so things like your Chair Zero, a one pound, 250 pound limit chair. That's uh, 250 pound limit? That's 250 pound, this is 800 pounds. Really? Yeah, so your kids, your wife, you, she can jump in your lap, you're not gonna break that chair. It's really key that when we sell product that does these outdoor things, that they're durable enough to take the abuse that families want to throw at them. All of your utensils and your car camping, you know, mugs that have other mugs in them. Uh, water filtration, not necessarily needed in the backyard, but definitely needed in the back country, for sure. And the tent, easy the, to pitch. Easy to of, pitch. what, three different? Three uh, poles. poles. Big door on the front side, um, and it does have a mesh screen, so you could not zip up the closed split side, but you can still see out with the mesh. The no see mesh is great. And the mesh on top, too. So obviously, I assume this has a rain fly that goes on it, but if you want to do a little stargazing, lay back there and just look straight up. This looks like camping a little too high-tech. This is high-tech camping. So this is great backyard camping. So on a day like today, when you have a great sun, um, you have a solar panel that will charge all of your products. You can keep your phone's charged right here via USB. It weighs nothing, it so, packs to nothing. So I just stick my phone right in here? You will take your cord yeah, and you will and plug it in USB. Oh, so that way you have, you can call your wife who may not want to even come out camping right. in the backyard and say, could you bring us some more ice? Right, you'll never run out of power for your phone to call somebody to bring you something. To bring I love okay. that. I, like it. I mean, we're back here in your backyard. There's always bugs out yes. in everybody's. Uh, so bug repellent, very important. Uh, natural Repel products are made with Picardin, which is a natural chemical. We also sell DEET products, which are um, things that we use for second world and third world places. Okay, what is that? Okay, so this is a 55 liter Patagonia black hole duffel. Um, it fits in, it's that thing right there. So okay. that fits into this itself. And the idea is that you have kind of your bug out bag, your camping go bug out bag. And so all this goes in here? All of that will fit in this. So okay. your sleeping pad fits like this. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but aren't I going to be dizzy for about 10 hours after I blow okay, this thing up? Okay, so good question. The way that this fills up is there's a fillo pump inside here that you, this little nozzle bag, mm -hmm. and you bellow air. Four full bellows will fill the product. So very, really? no, no breaths into anything. The end of the day, you get hungry. What do we eat? Right. So we did our little pre-boil chili on our Whisperlite Universal MSR stove. Mm -hmm. And we've already boiled everything. It's been steeping here for a few minutes. As you can see, it's actually thickened up a little bit. Oh yeah. The chili has all the spices, everything's ready out of the package, dump it in the boiling water. All right. 
It's that easy. Okay, and the yeah. proof is in the, the pudding? The May I? The pudding, okay, please. here we go. You know, that's good. And there if you wanted to, you could take some rice and throw it in there to absorb Absolutely. a little bit of the liquid or something Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. All right, so if somebody wants to go backyard camping, where do they find you? So you can come to Good Sports Outdoor Outfitters on De Zavala and I-10. Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. If you want to catch a movie this summer, guess what? The drive-in is back in a big way. And joining me right now is Scott Balvin, manager here at the Stars and Stri Stripes Drive-In in New Braunfels. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you doing tonight? I got to tell you, you think drive-in, you think retro, you think old school, but these times, I mean, this is back in a big way, right? Yes, ma'am. Tell us a little bit about the Stars and Stripes Drive-In. How long has it been here? All right, we've been here since uh, 2015, when it first opened up. And ever since then, it's been a, a place for people to come to enjoy a, a night under the stars, watching movies and making memories. Right now, we're doing a one features only because of the COVID-19. Uh, prior to that, we were doing two features a night and uh, one price, you get two movies. Can't beat it anywhere around. All right. so. What are you doing for folks when they come here to kind of help keep them safe? Uh, right now, our, we're at 50% capacity and our parking lot is uh, spaced out over the red dot. So everybody parks on that red dot to keep everybody separated. Uh, they can still get out of their car as long as they sit in front of their car and not invade anybody else's space. So people can bring food, right? If they yes. want to. Yes, they Okay. Can. But what have you got at the concession stand? We have all the goodies, uh, popcorn. We have the pretzels. Mm -hmm. We have nachos. We have Frito pies. We have your ices and all the drinks and all the concessions you can imagine. So when folks watch the movie, okay, and they think drive in, they think, okay, I'm sitting in my car, but that's just one way to watch the movie, right? Yes, ma'am. You can come out here. You can bring your own lawn chairs, set them up in front. People bring out little tables, put some little uh, snacks and food on it. They can also enjoy it from the inside of their car. Uh, if you're far enough apart from your brother, we do let your car run for just a little bit and then charge up the car. Uh, they bring uh, inflatable beds on the back of their trucks. They lay out there. They bring their own speakers. Everybody's enjoying it. It's like a pre-movie party out here. Okay, I'm here with Victor. And are you here with your family? Yes, I'm here with my wife uh -huh. and uh, her friend Jackie, my daughter Abigail, Alyssa, and Michaela. We're here to watch Grease. All right. And so, do you have you been to the drive-in before? Uh, I grew up on the drive-in, you know, what came with uh, my parents, uh, not necessarily this one, but uh, but back home, I grew up in the, in the valley, uh, South Texas, and so we'd go to the drive-in. So I saw this movie at the drive-in when it originally came out, so this is kind of nostalgic for me, sure. So tell me a little bit about introducing the drive-in to the next generation. Yeah, well, for, for all of them, it, it is a, a first, and so, um, you know, they're really excited. I guess it's something and, uh, really different for them and uh, quite honestly it is it is a bit of a drive we live in San Antonio but uh, but it's well worth it for the experience sure what movies are coming up for families to enjoy Mulan Mulan is one of the Disney's uh, new movies gonna come out that was pushed back and are there summer deals going on folks can take advantage of right now with did a summer deal everybody six dollars to get in it don't get any better than that to you know make memories under the stars still ahead we're going inside a new barbecue joint on the southwest side of san antonio serving up classic texas barbecue Next on SA Live, it's only a quarter tank of gas to get to this hill country spot. We'll show you a handful of spots complete with good eats, history, wine, and exploring too. Stay right. Tell us why you wear a mask. Maybe it's for someone special in your life or because you care about our community and want to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Here's how it works. Take a selfie in your mask and share it on social media. Include why you wear a mask. Use the hashtag why I wear a mask essay and click on the hashtag to learn why other people do too. We look forward to seeing why you wear a mask, San Antonio. A 90 minute drive north of San Antonio along the 290 wine trail, you'll find Stonewall Motor Lodge. Nestled in Stonewall, Texas, this classic 1960s roadside motel has the best of both worlds. Modern luxury with a little bit of retro. And the best part? It's just a short drive to some of Texas's best hidden gems. From a classic ice house to a unique science and art museum tucked in an old feed mill, 
And of course, there's wineries. But first, it's time to check in. Welcome to Stonewall Water Lodge. So the original hotel is 12 rooms. There's 10 kings and two double queens, but we also added four cabins, and that's a mix of king and queen, double queens as well. And then we have four RV slots, and all of those, the cabins and the RV slots actually overlook the acreage with the trees and the quiet. It's away from the, the highway more so. So we've got a little bit of an option for anybody, whether you need a family with a little bit bigger space in a cabin, or you're here for a nice romantic weekend, and you want a snug little king room, you're ready to go. This lodging hotspot is new, but rich in history. So one of the reasons we fell in love with the place was the quirky, unique Texas history and our tie to President LBJ. When President LBJ would come visit, there were hundreds of press corps, secret service, even celebrities would come down. So they needed a place to stay. That's how Stonewall Motor Lodge was born. I'm staying in the press room, where this kitchenette used to be a dark room where the press corps used to develop their photos. There are lots of neat touches throughout the lodge, some retro items, but this place has some modern comfort too. We spent countless hours trying to find the right decor to fit that little mid-century modern 1960s look that I was really going for. So you'll find some different pieces like our little retro fans. We have little retro refrigerators that are very reminiscent of the 60s, um, mid-century modern furniture. Well, I'd love to just settle in here. It's time to venture out. Who's hungry? First stop, lunch. <laughs> Pecan Street Brewing is just a 15 minute drive to Johnson City. We have uh, salads, uh, brick oven pizzas, burgers, and our brewed on site craft beer. And we have about 11 to 12 beers on tap any given time. Even though we're going through the pandemic and we're trying to be safe, people come here to really just relax and connect with uh, family members and friends. There's something for everyone on the menu. My salad was amazing, but I have to say, everything looks so good, especially the pizza. Our next stop is beautiful Coleman Cellars. At Coleman we have um, a great experience for anyone that wants to come out. We feel like that we've got safety precautions that we've taken in our barrel room. We have an educational flight which is a private tasting with a sommelier and we have plexiglass um, screens in front of all of the tables. We also have a lot of outside seating space, so people are welcome to bring um, food or a picnic. We do ask that people make the reservations because we do have some capacity constraints. From the grapevines to the barrels and straight to your wine glass, you will not regret this visit. Cheers. Our last stop just five minutes from our motel is Albert, Texas. We stop at Albert Ice House to end our day sipping drinks and having dinner under a 600-year-old tree. The Ice House was built actually 20 years ago, but the dance hall has been here since 1921. There was local gatherings in the dance hall, LBJ went to school next door, so it's a lot of history and it's really cool to be a part of it. So grab a cold one and relax in Albert under its inviting tree. We recommend the chicken sandwich from the Cowboy Cantina food truck. Time to head back to the lodge. It's just a few minutes from everything. It's been such a great time here in Stonewall. Had an amazing time exploring Johnson City and Stonewall, Texas. Now I'm gonna cap it off here on the deck here at Stonewall Motor Lodge. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Trusky. Cheers. Still ahead on SA Live, we are hitting the canal and just kicking back and relaxing. I've got the easy job, we're going tubing. You know, all of these uh, water bottle stuff you might throw out, how mm -hmm. about turning it into a fun little craft and game that the whole family can play? Yes, we are gonna show you some inexpensive and fun ways to pull that off. I like this game. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. Well, if you're spending more time at home and you want to try to keep the kids busy and maybe add some more fun to family game night, how about this? Yes. What you can do is use nice sauce, by the way, here, catch, is use some of the stuff that you may actually throw away, turn it into some fun little games you can either play outside or inside, and half the fun is going to be constructing all of these crafts and the crafting queen herself. The aficionado of activities. Adina 
Anderson <laughs> from Creative Lifestyles with Adina shows us a few fun games. Well, nowadays everybody has a whole bunch of these, the Amazon boxes, <laughs> and instead of just, you know, throwing them out or collecting them somewhere else, um, what did you do with this one, Adina? Well, this is a fun game you can play in the backyard. You just cut some holes in there, paint it. It's really simple. You just use your acrylic paint. I like the decor, okay. but you can use any acrylic paint that you have. Yeah. And then you're, you're just going to kind of outline it. So this is kind of a golf game that you can play okay. in the backyard. Or if it's bad outside, you could even play this inside if you have the little plastic ones because you won't break anything with those. Mm -hmm. And then just let the kids have fun with this, right? But I think this is something the adults would like to do too. <laughs> These acrylic paints are basically good for anything. For Cardboard, anything. plastic, yeah. Wood, whatever you Wood, metal, may be, whatever however, your craft whatever. Is. That's the box that This is we... what we finish off with, right. so we'll see how good of a putter you are. And... Woo! Ten. Ten points. Okay, I like that. <laughs> okay. This next one's really fun. You want to know why? Because you can eat it Yay! after you make it. <laughs> yes. And we're going to use something that you usually put ice cream in, mm -hmm. but that's going to melt in this heat, right? So True. why not make something fun with it? <laughs> I love how you use Starburst. I know. Well, I used to do a lot of golf tournaments and things, and that was the one treat I would give out because they don't melt in the sun for some reason. So it was a really easy one that we know won't melt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we need? Okay, so you want to have your ice cream cones, and you could use any kind you want, and then you want your chocolate. So you could use regular chocolate or white chocolate. I have white chocolate here. And if you don't have the melting pot, the Wilton melting pot, you can pop it in the microwave or do a double broiler, however you want. And then you just kind of dip it in there, get it all covered, and then just use whatever sprinkles you have. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. It could be any holiday, right? Right. <laughs> it's summer. And then all you're going to do is just roll it in here once you get it covered. Uh, ha, 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 ha. The fun part. Part, right uh, ha, ha, and then really ha, ha. fill it with whatever candy look how simple that is oh my gosh and it looks so yummy right yum <laughs> oh and the chocolate's still warm oh yes that's bonus <laughs> If you're outside in the summertime, lots and lots of water, and don't throw the bottles away. You can either refill them or use them for another. You know, craft. I don't throw anything away. No, it's cool. so bad. Me Cans, either. bottles, whatever. <laughs> so what are we doing with the empties? So this is a fun little bowling game you can play outside or even inside yeah. because it's plastic, and you want to take the little label off there of your water bottle. So just okay. rip that off. And then you're gonna use the acrylic paint again. So you're gonna put about one or two coats on and it dries pretty quick, especially in the heat like this. It'll probably already start drying by the time you're getting one done there. Oh, okay. And then I just took the red and put it at the top so it looks like bowling pins. So you're mm -hmm. gonna paint the top of it and paint the whole thing. Sure. And I put rocks in the bottom just to kind of hold them up. Apparently it's a little windier today, but. <laughs> well, you don't want too much because you want to be able to have it to knock tip them down. over a little that's bit. Right. But yes. not <laughs> enough so. Okay, so that would dry and you said and just you a wiffle ball? Up. Yep, and I just used a wiffle ball or whatever you around the house. Oh, hey, I got it. <laughs> Thank you to the wind. And that's the benefit of bowling with water bottles outside. Coming up on SA Live, skip that summer trip and give back. People here at Focalotas are coming together with the entire community to feed our elderly here on the south side. Next on the show, we're going inside the newest barbecue joint on the southwest side of the Alamo City. The Hot Box is a barbecue joint located on the southwest side of San Antonio. They're smoking up classic Texas barbecue like prime brisket and loading it on grilled cheese sandwiches. When you come out to the Hot Box, you can get, get this, a brisket grilled cheese sandwich. It is gooey, ooey goodness. That looks phenomenal. That's a lot of cheese, y'all. You get barbecue sauce on the side. They also have like a corn in a cup or an elote style item on the side there. Pickles and onions. And I want to put some barbecue sauce on it, y'all. This is how we do it. I just want to put it right on top. Ooh. Here we go. That's the bite. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's exactly what you want. The cheese is melted perfectly. The texture on the outside of the toast has a really nice crunch to it. Now this one is extra cheesy. I got an extra cheese added to it. So if you want it like on that next gooey, gooey level, you ask for the extra cheese. This is where it's at. If you're looking for the next brisket sandwich you want to get, hot box, man, this is where it's at. 
The hot box is also serving up pork ribs, pork tenderloin, and jalapeno cheddar sausage. If you're a rib fanatic, you want to find that next rib place, you got to come check out the hot box. Look at this bad boy. They got two different styles of ribs out here. This one, we're going in on it. Look how juicy. And that bark on the outside, they put a little extra seasoning on there too. Just a little sprinkle of good flavor on there. And that rub is crazy, y'all. It's like, what, three, four layers of goodness. Falls right off, super tender. Here we go. sugar shines through in a really good way. It like elevates all the other flavors on there to the next level. Mm. Owner James English opened the spot earlier this year, but had to adjust with the ever-changing climate to make sure that the restaurant didn't have to close its doors permanently. This is definitely a passion project. Uh, being in a backyard for so many years, loving to cook, and putting a business model and sense to it is not always the easiest thing, hence why we started in a food truck. We wanted to make sure that it grew organically. I think it's one of those things where, you know, I'm getting to the age where it's a little bit of lifestyle. Nobody's gonna yell at me if you're having a beer at three in the afternoon. The barbecue joint is new, but it feels like it's been here forever. A great addition to the evolving barbecue scene in San Antonio. And the smoked barbacoa tacos are one of the best bites in the Alamo City. You're a Grammy Award winning musician. With the Chris Petters band. With the Chris Petters band, sir. But then you come out here and you can also cook up some mean barbacoa. Oh, yes. Are you married? No, sir. You will be after this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not getting these tacos, you're doing something wrong. I'll tell you that right now. Later on the show, we're going on a cruise to two different barbecue trucks on the northwest side of SA. Here on SA Live, we are all about celebrating San Antonio. Yes, we love taking you to some fun summer spots where you can celebrate as a family while keeping your social distance. But if you're looking to give back, the people here at Folklore's Coffee House on the south side have an amazing project going. Not only are they feeding the elderly, they're coming together with others in the community to give back. One of the ladies, all she was eating was bread and jelly for like about two weeks when we first started. And when we get there, you know, sometimes that's all they have. Alone and scared unsure of what the world will do to help. These are the thoughts of our elderly, living in fear as a pandemic takes over. And yet, they need to eat. Showing love during a moment of despair will really change the way you outlook on people. You know, um, so when you, when you feel like you can't give it all and you give a little bit, you're, you, you really will change inside and your perspective will be different. Emily and Tatu Herrera, like many others, were forced to close their Southside coffee shop as COVID-19 took over. On the day it closed, me and Em kind of talked about what we're gonna do, you know, and we we're watching TV and we saw how people were buying toilet paper like crazy, and there's pictures of senior citizens that were kind of like scared, didn't know what's going on. So we talked about it, we're kind of like, what are we gonna do, right? What's our, what's our part? So we figured, hey, let's make meals. So we figured, hey, let's post online, Hey, who can use some food? Let's make some meals. After all, that's what Chef Tattoo does. He loves cooking. People, right? We know somebody, whatever. So we make sandwiches. We're all like, oh, we can do this. We took them out. Next time was like 60 people or 80 people, I remember. Uh, the same thing. We're like, oh, okay, we can do this. And this is every day. So then, then the following day, it was like 100 something. And we're kind of like, all right. <laughs> so then, but then we're, doing, we're doing that and delivery. And, um, the more we talked to people and the more we, we drove around and interacted, we start to realize that a lot of these people, all they had was that meal. The pair quickly realized the need and that's when they formed a team of volunteers. We have raised a little over $6,000 and that's enough, that means another 6,000 in proteins. So these bags are getting heavier and heavier as each passing week goes by. And their shop, now a hub for packing and planning meals. That's what our end goal is, that we don't stop and what else can we do? You know, I think this is just the beginning to something bigger. These are the faces of the south side. For Jose Moreno, he's bedridden living with his wife in this home. It's their caregiver who reached out for help. 
Um, I can't tell you anymore because I'm going to cry. So, but thank you. Thank you for everything y'all do. Very helpful. Very helpful for them. So y'all are really helping me out too with them. So, you know, she didn't know I was asking for help. So I really thank y'all. And, and I really can't stay long just because we want to limit the contact to the, the people that we're helping. So we're not sure if we're going to be able to go in. But. No, no, no. Gracias. It touches my heart to be able to do this because there are so many who really are still in need. People probably don't even realize like the food that you give is something sometimes all they have. Yeah. They're, they're really splitting their meals, really rationing everything, and the fear of contracting COVID or, or doing just going outside, it, it's, it's so great with them. Some of the volunteers also lost their jobs. But it's the giving part that keeps them fulfilled. But like to know there's such a high identity of a need, just like what do we do? How are we missing this? These other people that we ran into, um, they had all this mold on their AC. No one's ever checked on them. They have no idea how to clean their filter out. So like that, one of our volunteers went back to clean their air, their air condition. They need adult diapers. They yeah. need an air condition. Yeah. It, it's hard to know that to know that we're getting so close to these people and it, I, I know we really shouldn't, but who else is gonna watch them? And many of the elderly on the South Side are depending on these meals. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Next on SA Live, 72 degrees year round. We are hitting the refreshing Kamal River and going tubing. Of course, uh, the searing summer heat. What is the best way to cool off around here? Hop in the river, the canal, and it's time to go tubing. And we are with Coley Reno, who is the owner of Texas Tubes. And I mean, it, it's just an institution. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it's getting so hot these days that if you're going to do anything outside, you have to be in the water. First of all, on the Comal River, inside the, the city limits of New Braunfels, uh, no disposable containers can be taken on the river. Okay. Okay. And in the state of Texas law is no, no glass or styrofoam can be taken on the river either. And basically, you summed it up as anything that had liquid in it when you bought it probably you can't take on the river that's right the container ban is basically just trying to keep our river clean and if you look around the river is clean and uh, that's the goal and that whole texas law because you scared me when you said it and you scared somebody just on the river yes. right now styrofoam or glass is what kind of a fine in texas it's a 500 dollar fine so if somebody wants something you even have little thermoses here too yes right? sir we, we sell those half gallon containers with the flip top lids um, yetis are fine um, all of those things are fine to to bring on the river now there's all the social distancing rules here and there and that and how does that apply to you and what are you guys doing as far as that if you have any sort of immune deficiencies if you have any kind of, of problems with your immune system uh, we suggest stay home as far as as what we do here uh, we spray our buses down after each shuttle uh, with a CDC mixture uh, we have gallon spray bottles and we just spray them down mm -hmm. um, and we haven't had any problems so far and as far as the tubes themselves yes we get the handles and spray those handles down once you're on the river you know it's up to you to, to to know what's safe for you if you're in an uncomfortable situation look ahead get out of the river there's most places you can get out of the river so if you don't want to be close to people you know paddle away from them if you see something you're not liking up ahead pull over and hang on to the side a minute and let it clear out and then you can go okay uh, other than that never been tubing before how do you describe it to somebody to me it's it's really relaxing you can get you some good sun it, it's it's a lot better than just laying in one place and in that water is it's 72 degrees year-round and anything you need to know is on that website right. texastubes.com yes sir texastubes.com if you have any questions texastubes at yahoo.com is my uh, email I'll be glad to answer any questions for you and we hope to see you soon right thank you sir appreciate it time to hit the water yes Never done it. The tube suit. Located on the northwest side at a Chevron parking lot, Brisket Boss Barbecue is an award-winning food truck serving up some of the best bites in town. We've been in this spot here on New Gilbo for about six months. Their barbecue and Buffalo Ranch chicken wraps are out of control. 
All of the wraps are loaded with white cheddar mac and cheese, and the barbecue wrap gets brisket, bacon, barbecue sauce, and shredded cheese, and the chicken wrap gets stuffed with barbecue chicken, bacon, ranch, buffalo sauce, and shredded cheese. Each wrap is then sizzled on the flat top until all that shredded cheese becomes ooey and gooey. Y'all, check this out. This right here is the brisket wrap you can get when you come out to the food truck. It's got brisket, mac and cheese, the smoke SO. You have cheese, bacon, and barbecue sauce on there. And then it gets put onto a flat top and you get this nice texture on the outside. There you go. This right here is the chicken wrap, all right? So it's chicken thighs that are barbecued, smoked, and then on the inside, you got mac and cheese, smoke queso, so you have the ranch, you have buffalo sauce, you have more cheese, bacon, and it's just goodness. And the smoke queso on there really sets it apart. I'm gonna take a bite. That's the one. <laughs> all right, the brisket one's really good, don't get me wrong. But this is why you need to come out here. The blend of all the sauces together, the way the chicken is smoked has really good flavor to it, but it's very subtle, it's not overpowering. The buffalo, the ranch, and the smoke queso together with the cheese, bomb. This wrap is where it's at. And don't forget to try the banana pudding. Y'all playing games. <laughs> That's delicious. We're taking a cruise up to the Point Park near Bernie, Texas, where the Holy Smoke Barbecue food truck is now calling home. Welcome to Holy Smoke, what can I get you? New to the food truck is their smoked al pastor and Texas Twinkies. The al pastor gets marinated in a house-made sauce overnight and smoked until tender. Then the meat gets sliced and sizzled on a flat top. The mini tacos get loaded up and ready to eat. The Texas Twinkies are huge jalapenos that get stuffed with cream cheese, smoked prime brisket, wrapped in bacon, seasoned, and smoked to perfection. This right here is a Texas Twinkie. You have a jalapeno, you put a little bit of cream cheese in there, some brisket, you wrap it up in bacon, and they're putting it on the smoke right here. Holy smoke here at the Point Park. Take a bite. It's a savory little treat, and you're gonna want at least 10 of them. Maybe order a dozen, who knows. And when you're there, you have to try one of their Big Papas, a loaded baked potato that will change your life. To get more pictures, videos, and information on restaurants around Texas, just follow me on Instagram, at Elder Eats. Keep eating San Antonio, and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. Hi, producer Robert here. It's summertime, me and the pups want to head outdoors, enjoy the great weather, but they need protection in this South Texas sun. So we came to Positively Sweet Bakery to find out what we need. Let's go inside. We are a small, locally owned business here in San Antonio where we manufacture all our food products, including our biscuits, treats, and then we have a lot of different boutique items and accessories that are great for the summer. One of our items that is great for the summer is a portable water bowl that just extends out like this. We also have these kinds of water bowls that have the water bottle attached to it, so it just extends out and makes it easy for your dogs to drink out of. And then we do have the goggles. Now these are great because it's really hard for dogs to take these off, and it's you be ray protected for their eyes. It's a touch activated cooling pad. This keeps them off the asphalt, the concrete that's really hot. So these are cooling bandanas. Um, what you will do is you'll put water on here and when you put it on your dog, it helps keep them cool, it retains the water. The cool thing about this Explorer pack is that it has basically everything we talked about here. So it has a water bowl, it has um, some toys in it, a leash and collar. It's like a little survival kit for your dog. We do have some summer skincare items. So one of the ones that are popular, and this is actually good year round, is our paw balm. It's good for adding hydration back into the paw pads and the nose because, as you know, if they keep on walking on the hot pavement, it does dry out their paw pads and their nose and even some of their areas of skin. Um, a lot of dogs get allergies in the summer. So this is really great for helping with that. 
We do have our bug off spray. It's really great for repelling mosquitoes. Again, it is all natural, so if they do lick the part that it gets sprayed on their skin, mm -hmm. there's no need to worry about it. And then we do have a lavender shampoo, really good for irritated skin. We are a small dog food manufacturer here in San Antonio. Everything's baked fresh weekly, so a lot of our biscuits is what we're known for. They're really popular because they are limited ingredient, very nutrient dense biscuits made fresh weekly in small batches. So as you can see, we have a variety of products that are great for the summertime. And you can visit us at our store located at 5501 Blanco Road. We hope everybody enjoys their summer. Me and Lily made it to the park. Come on, Lily, let's go explore. Come on. Beautiful out here, but me and Lily are getting hot. We're gonna need something cool this off soon. Hey, it's Stephanie Duncan from Popsicles. How are you? So I was out at the park today and I wanted to see if any dogs wanted some Popsicles. So we have watermelon, orange coconut, blueberry coconut, and I've just brought out carrots. We also do strawberry and peanut butter chicken broth, of course. These are all organic. These are all handmade. I make them, well, my dog started eating ice cubes. And so I started thinking, what is a better way that they can get a treat that's more nutritious for them? So if y'all need any cool treats for your dogs this summer, because you know this Texas heat gets super hot, Go ahead and go to our website or direct message me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to deliver to you. Let's see what Lily thinks. Lily. Oh, peanut butter. Chicken, chicken broth. Well, it's definitely a different kind of summer, but while we're social distancing, why not stand out with some pops of color? And you know who can help with that? Elsa Fernandez with Eye Candy Boutique. So excited to be here. Our first model is Brie. She is modeling our coral pocketed v-neck dress. The important part about this one is that it is a really breathable material. The silhouette complements her figure and the pom-pom necklace goes with her pom-pom shoes. Okay, Elsa, so this is your new showroom. It, and it happened right before everything went a little crazy yes. in the world. Yes. But how is business right now? After five years downtown, we came to our showroom in March and we quickly learned that we weren't going to be able to function as normal. So we're online now at heyicandy.com and now we're available for appointments at the showroom Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. So our next model is going to be Crystal and she is showing off a bubble sleeve mixed print top. This is perfect for the summer because it's super lightweight. We have her paired with some Distress fold over denim and then a mustard top. The thing that makes this so easy for a Texas summer is the lightweight mixed print color allows for different kind of accessories to be used too. So we matched it with some blue, cobalt blue earrings to help that blue pop out of the top as well. Okay, Elsa, I have to ask, is there a color to stay away from in the summertime? So one would think, that's a really good question, Jen. Uh, <laughs> one would think that like black or maroon might be something to stay away from. But if you introduce a pop of color like turquoise, looks really pretty and that's a really good way to even out the fallness or the darkness of a maroon or a black. Okay. So our third model is going to be Katya and she has our baby doll striped uh, multicolor dress on. And we paired it with some really cute glitter yellow earrings to bring out the yellow in the dress. And then her baby blue strappy sandal also brings out the blue in the dress. So this is just a really fun way to show that this dress can totally be dressed up with sandals or she can dress it down with like sneakers if she's gonna go on a walk to the park. Yes, right. This would look so cute with some white Converse if she was gonna go to like yes. the Pearl's Farmer's Market or something. So if you love Elsa's ideas, I always do. Thank well, you. she's here for you, right Elsa? If somebody has a question about styling things, of course, we are available for appointments Wednesday through Saturday in our showroom. You can find us at Hey Eye Candy on Instagram and Facebook and online at HeyEyeCandy.com. And don't forget, this is a local business, mm -hmm. so be sure to support local and continue to do so because they work very hard. Yes. Thank you so much. For more information, just go to SALive.com. Ah, okay. I mean, oh my goodness.
this, Mike. I wish you could send some of that stuff my way so that my backyard really, really looks like a camp out. Because right now, all I have is this, you know, little campfire here, but I am roasting some marshmallows. I've got my graham crackers and whoa, 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 whoa. What was that sound? That sounded big. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a bear, but that is the cutest bear. I wonder if it's after my soon to be s'mores. These are almost done, but shh, 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 something's approaching. It's getting closer. You guys, it's a mama deer and her baby. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. You guys need to run because there's a bear. I need to go too. Oh my gosh, this is Wild Kingdom America. I'm gonna take these s'mores to go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. 